What is going on everybody? Rod J back again. Time to take a look at another beer and this is actually going to be the last of the Yangling beers that I will be sharing. So I've been going through a few of their beers more recently on the more recent videos and this is actually going to be a look at their new one they came out with. I think this came out earlier this year or towards the end of last year but it is their Yangling Flight as you can see here. A little bit different on the labeling. Not as much the old classic look that you saw on the other cans, but more of a new age look that they have here. And as I mentioned on one of the other videos, uh, this is actually one that's come out kind of as a lighter beer type offering. Kind of interesting though, because if you caught the Yingling Light video, I talked about that one there. The difference between the two, the Flight comes in with a 4.2 ABV. The Yingling Light was at 3.8. The flight is 95 calories per 12 ounce and 2.6 carbs. And the light was 8.5 carbs and 99 calories. So the light was actually a little bit more on calories and definitely more on carbs. So this has actually become more of a low carb option that's available. So looking forward to seeing what this has to offer and the taste and the flavor versus what it was on the light version. Um, this is one that should be, I think, everywhere they do Yingling now, so you should be able to see this. And as I mentioned on the other videos, Yingling is actually in the process of being taken nationwide by the uh, acquisition that was under uh, Miller Coors. So you should see them everywhere at some point, I would assume. Let's get this baby open and get it into a glass and check this one out. And this is actually the one Yingling that will be the first time for me having, I have not had this one at all since it's come out, where the other ones I have had over the years. We get that light straw color on the beer. Got the whole pint can into the glass. Lots of activity here for the carbonation, as you can see as well. We got a lot of that going on. And on the uh, beer itself, Pretty much get the same aroma that you get off the light. You get some sweetness there from the malts. You get that earthy type feel, a little bit of that barnyard type feel. Let's go ahead and get the uh, taste on this one. Now, before I do that, you can see the head's already dissipated down as well. And again, there's some of the carbonation in case you missed it. Very, very lively. Nice, crisp, and refreshing feel to the beer. You get that graininess up front from it. That sweetness from the malts that comes through. A nice kick over from the uh, initial to the finish. I will say this one isn't hanging around in the flavor duration as much as the, the light did. Even though the light was a lower ABV, I feel like more was coming through on the taste and in the texture of the beer. But it has a nice crisp break on the end on that finish that makes it even a little bit more smoother so to speak so there's not that after effect of anything like that it's just got a nice clean break to it you get a nice feel of the uh, carbonation on the tongue a really strong uh, prickling air as you saw the lobby carbonation that does come through in this one rather easily if I had to say the difference between the two, it would definitely be this one just feels more crisper and cleaner than what it did on the light. But if I was going to choose between the two, I'm almost a little bit more partial to the light because I feel like it's giving you a little bit more of a body to it. Now I will say neither of these um, are watery or thin compared to what I thought they were going to be. So again, I mentioned on the light video that compared to some of the other major macros out there and their light versions, it's not as thin or watery and with the flight is actually the same way. And just a good, a good feel to it. If you've had the flight, let me know what you thought of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. We'll love to hear your feedback on it as well. From Yingling, America's oldest brewery. And what do you think of their new look on the beer? It's not that they're gonna do this with the other cans or not, but I do like the crisp clean look of it. But again, I just want to have a date and an ABV 
Well, I guess what? I just want to date because ABV is on this one. So we're halfway there with Yangling, right? The other ones didn't have an ABV. They have an ABV on here now. So now we just need to date, which they do have a code on the bottom that I'll put up here as well. But it's not like a straight date that people can actually know. And that might be a code for the computer because it looks like it might be 2021 or it could just be random numbers. But most people just want to have that month, day, and year. It makes it that much easier. Oh, well. It is what it is. We'll see what happens. Maybe they'll hear me and I'll start putting nice, clear type information. Thanks for checking out another video. Hopefully you guys like what you saw. And if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And of course, let me know again if you've had this or any of the Yangling beers. Leave a comment below. Let me let me know what your favorites are or what you thought if you've had these. Um, and any beer, any beer you want me to take a look at, let me know as well. Always feel free to leave a comment for that too. And I will look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.